them more than they need us. This is, I think, and what I see as I travel around the country, this is, I think, it would bring a hard transition for our industry, uh, particularly for editors who were generally trained as I was, and I went to journalism school. We were generally trained to be arbiters of what people wanted and needed. But those days are over with now because people have many more options. Some of us haven't gotten the message yet, and that's one of the problems. So there a fundamental rethinking of the way we cover the news. There are plenty of reasons people will pick up a newspaper, a daily or a weekly, but there's not the same reasons as 10 or 15 years ago. Um, for example, fewer than 12 percent, just over one in 10 of the people who say they're interested in world, national, or Washington news say they rely on newspapers for that information. Yet well, you would know it by looking at many of our newspaper front pages. And that's a problem. Um, they're it's basically produced, like me, by journalists educated a generation or two ago who are still using those instincts when they're, when they're deciding what to put in the paper, where to put it. I'm not saying that stuff's not important. I think it's very important. There's a place in the newspaper for it. But you would argue that if you're going to do that, then say what's in it for me. Say what's in it for me or keep it short. Headlines in newspapers are generally, now I, I'm as guilty as anybody, because boy, I wrote some crappy headlines. <laughs> the headlines in newspapers are generally very important. Uh, they need more entry points, higher story counts. It's all about getting people to spend more time in newspaper, make it an important part of their day. Tony, what about what about when they like you pull out a quote in the middle and you blow it up? Does that draw readers in? As yeah, well? If it's a good quote, it does. Yeah. Um, How about graphs and pictures? And, if they're informational graphics. Um, when we started, uh, when I was in Rochester, we used to do a lot of graphics, but they really inform weren't informational graphics. When I went to USA Today, I started to understand graphics a whole lot different. That they had to they had to demand their space. They had to pay for their space by conveying information, and that will make a difference. But just to break up the type doesn't work. We can no longer afford business as usual. Business as usual is a slow graph showing newspaper readership and revenues declining. We can't afford that anymore. Great subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, they still love their newspaper. Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's a part of their history and wonderful memories. They are loyal to us overall, and they still trust us. I would like to see more coverage. Uh, I think we kind of we kind of do a disservice. I think a lot of people feel so many seniors are loaded. They have tons of money. They they get to move to nice places. They get their motor homes. They get to do all this stuff. But the reality of it is, there's a lot more going on there. Uh, that we're reporting. And, and they are loyal, and I'm loyal to them. I, I just want to see them get their fair due, because they love us. They still do. As a baby boomer, I can't agree with you. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Newspaper, as you said, newspapers are trusted. They're still the most trusted. I can't tell you that anything that even hints that we are losing our local news franchise, I was scared the heck out of every one of us because more and more, as media environment becomes more fragmented, our business is going to depend on it.